complicated. Shit, guards are gonna hear us. Wait for you outside. That's Astrid's signal. She said she'd oh, be waiting man. in her office. That was sick. You're a killing machine, man. Ah, yeah, you again. Yes, your greatest fan, Tobias. Happy to see me? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Just checking. Anyway, I couldn't get beyond the walls, but I found a place to train near the bazaar. And I remembered someone else who used to live in your digs. This guy was small, but quick as hell. Almost made it to the finale. Not as fast once Skullface crushed his spine, though. Anyway, just before he passed, he told me about some place. There's stuff that allows everyone to take inhibitors. You believe that? Everyone. I know where it is. You should check it before the finale. I'll find where I wrote the address and get back to you. Uh, thanks. My pleasure. Good luck, man. I heard Skullface never shows his face because it's covered in... So where's Chiro? Uh, listen, Ogar, he, um, wants to keep fighting. Stupid bastard. That's it. No more kid gloves. He needs his ass kicked before he gets killed. They'll kill you. Or they won't. You can't help him dead. Good point. I still want him out. Uh, there might be another way. Could leave on his own. The hell you mean? Look, I mean, I'll beat Skullface. Chiro wants him. If Skullface loses, Chiro can't lose. Some plan. Kill Skullface. Except you can't. No offense, Aiden. Got a better idea, then? No. Find my old dressing room. I buried my armor and the weapon there. Do I need rusty armor and old weapons? Only if you want to beat Skullface. I won the tournament with that gear. Yeah, thanks, Ogar, but I need an upgrade. You need to listen, boy. You're a goddamn jumper, not a fighter. Tatsuo crafted this gear for me especially. Tell him it's old and rusty. Now find my room and report back. Look, no offense, Ogar, but... Okay, I'll think about it.
come this far. Okay, where's that armor? Ogar, I'm in your room. Okay, tell me what you see. Wow, a tiger skin rug. Hmm, living large, Ogar. Uh, well, at least I know you're in the right place. Stash the armor behind the rug. For a friend looking for some armor armor touch my armor and you die last warning what the fuck you really want it's a friend's armor he used to live here hid it before he left and asked me to get it back for him what fucking friend been living here for months don't bullshit me ogar name ring a bell Sure, Ogar. But ain't he dead or something? Last I heard, he was Astra's rug, like this one. Empty. How the fuck did that get there? Don't bullshit me. You took the armor. Don't know what you're talking about. Ain't touched that thing since I've been here. Thought it looked nice. Look, if Ogar sent you for his armor, you're on a wild goose chase. He gambled away everything he had. Gambled? You didn't know? He was more than just a champion. Remember watching him fight. I wanted to be just like him. But that wasn't a bet he wouldn't take. That shit? It brought him down. Probably used it for a bet. You know where the armor could be. You think I'd be using that pile of scrap if I did? Man, if I'd even thought it was here. Clearly it wasn't. I guess I'd better go. I found your hiding spot. It's empty. I'm sure that no one could find it there. Go be you on. Not so good with secrets. I was drunk when I told her. You won? Yeah. Last time I saw her, she worked as a craft master in Carnage Hall. Unless she gave up on that too. Wait for I won't hurt to check her out, will it? I change your mind when you meet her. Do a night of terrorists? I'm sure I can. Hey. You're Yuan, right? 
What's it to you? Well, I'm looking for a friend's fighting gear. He says he told you where he hid it. Don't know what you're yapping about. Are you crafting something or what? It was Ogar's armor. You remember him? Ogar? Don't tell me that idiot wants to fight again. Hasn't he lost enough? Oh, I know. He wants to lay it down on a bat. Don't step in Ogar's shit, kid. It don't wash off that easy. Look, uh, if you have it, I can pay. I don't. Sold it to Freddy Stammer a long time ago. Who? Freddy Stammer. As a fighter, he was always number two. Just like his shit personality. Till he finally said the wrong thing to the wrong person and they booted him. So you and Ogar, were you close? Define close. We met when he commissioned his armor. Let's just say, we forged more than his breastplate. Why'd you break it off? The more Ogar won, the more out of control he became. It was hard to watch. Out of control? Just take my advice. Steer clear of him. You'll live longer. And if you plan on fighting, don't let the arena swallow you, like it did Ogar. Where can I find this Stamma guy? He lives by the electrical substation in Old Villador. But good luck getting it from him. Hey, I may have found your armor. It's with some guy named Freddy. Freddy Stamma. Yeah, I remember him. He was an okay fighter. You have quite the reputation, you know. Respect. As a fallen champion. As a gambling addict. Just get my gear, okay? Unless you want skull face to dismember you in two seconds. Inhibitor container detected.
Think they're tough? Wait till they meet me. Catch you stealing, you lose a hand, pal. No order without strict laws. When we're on a break here, I see all these. Nobody loves themselves anymore. You want one way to learn how to do it. <laughs>
Looking for Freddy Stamma? Why? What do you want? Listen, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just looking for some armor. I was told you had it. Armor? What the hell are you talking about? Ogar's armor? Ogar? You on the Craftmaster told me you bought it. Oh, Ogar. Ogar. Yes. Yes, I bought it. To keep it safe for him. But that was some time ago. Did Ogar send you? Yeah. He wanted to loan me his armor for the tournament. Interesting. Good old Ogar, yeah. Knew he'd want it back one day. He always had better stuff than us. That armor made him a greater champion than he already was. Wait here. I stored it in the basement. Let me get the key. Oh, really? Here's the key. Take it. I'd escort you down to the basement, but I can't even navigate the stairs with these eyes. Seems like Freddy was a Carnage Hall celebrity. Wow. He really was a great fighter. Why isn't he showing these off? Can't the play, Abel? What? Should have been him, not you, Abel. I would have won this time. Who's Abel? Why do you keep calling me that? Quit playing. No one else could have kept up with me. And they trained you well. He knew they would. Tell me, Abel. How did that feel? You were his poker chip. Fucking bet on his pride. What are you talking about? But Astrid got him. Hit him where it hurt the most. <coughs> I've always pitied you, boy. For having that shit as a father. <laughs> so... So Ogar bet his son's life? Gambling is a drug. And Olgar is <laughs> a fucking junkie. Oh, he lost big that day. <laughs> junkie. <laughs> Loser.
afraid of what happens in the nights of terror. Glad I didn't lose as badly as you did. At least I still have something like that. Bad. You got your own family again. I'm telling you. You are faster than volatile. Congrats. I wonder you have so many fans. I know about Abel. Abel? Yeah, your son. The one whose life you gambled away. Was it worth it? <laughs> Does Chiro know? I didn't just lose a son that day. See? This was Abel. He was everything to me. It was just one more bet before I took my boys and left the arena behind. That's so? What happened? I was at the top. Best of the best. At prestige, fame, money. But all good things come to an end, right? Astrid told me to throw the last fight. Pass the title to some fresh meat she was cultivating. Lose the third round, she ordered. That meat was Skullface. We fought one, two rounds. The crowd was mine. I knew it. They chanted my name. Hearing that makes victory so sweet. I was a champion after all. Astrid didn't know that I'd placed a bet. Everything I had on myself to pay the pilgrim that could take us from the city. I waited till the third round and won. I knew she would go after me and my sons. We ran! But her dogs... They caught us. She f forced me to hand over one of my sons. To become a Carnage Hall gladiator. Chiro... Or Abel. Chiro... Or Abel. If I didn't... She would kill them both. So you chose Abel. Chiro was no fighter, but Abel, I trained him. He was fast, strong, but Skullface was too much for him. He was after vengeance, blood. I sent my own son to his death. I should have protected him, but I lost him. All the line in my pockets. I gave up. I had nothing to live for. But Shiro kept me going, even though I didn't deserve it. I am a failure of a father, and he stayed anyway. Listen, you lost Abel. 
But it's not too late for Chiro. You can sit here and complain, or we can still help him. You're right. It's my last chance to make things right. I'll find my way in, and his way out, I promise. Until I do, go. Stay safe. Keep an eye on him, please. Sure, I will. Tried and true. I've always said that playing pretend was a thing. I've come this far. I'm destined to win. Astrid? Uh, I guess she's always been an entertainer of sorts. That was five months before the pandemic. The VNC. Those were the days. We had a saying. Doesn't matter what your program is about. It's important to put on a show. I see you've stuck by that saying. Of course. Sorry for the loud music, Aiden. It's to make sure that no one can eavesdrop on us. Who's been listening in on you? Someone who wants to destroy me. I thought I would lose everything until you showed up. What's going on? We can help each other. You win the tournament, and I keep Carnage Hall open. But someone's shutting it down? Too many people are dying in Carnage Hall. Rumors have reached the PK ship. Jack Matt's losing patience. What's me winning have to do with any of this? As long as Skullface is the champion, the slaughter won't end. It'll only get worse. So you want me to get rid of him? I've done all I can on my own, believe me. You see, when I first saw him, I knew he was star material. He felt the audience. He was a winner, fight after fight, just like you. But winning was never enough for him. Skullface became insatiable, started killing. By the time I realized what had come over him, it was too late. 
Even my guards are afraid of him. I've created a monster, Aiden. I want to stop the slaughter, but I need help. Will you help me? Why should I trust you? You don't have to. You can keep watching people die until it's your buddy's turn. What was his name? Chiro? If not for me, do it for him. Please. But do you have a plan? You saw it in the arena. The infected do not attack Skullface. They're his weapon and his shield. I want to take that away from him. Okay. Any idea how? I've heard screams in his room. I believe he's experimenting on people. We can start there. But you must be careful. Oh, are you worried about me? About us. If he finds out that we're working together, he'll gut us both. Okay, I'll go. And uh, let you know if I find anything out. Nine hundred ninety nine ways to die. <laughs> Sounds like Skullface's MO. No one will remember you if you're second. <laughs> he managed to not misspell anything. Son, but Skullface killed him.
He marked some spots. Mm, one of them hasn't been crossed out. Astrid, I, I found a marked up map in Skullface's room and a uh, human entrails. What's marked on the map? It's several locations all crossed out, except one Pete Street in the Culvert Island area. I've heard him talking about this place, but there's. there's a dark zone there. Why would he go there? Mm, I can check it out. Yeah, one more thing Abel. What do you know about him? It's a long story. And do you like to tell them? I'll tell you when you get back. Let me know. Yeah. <laughs> 
Say, that's some 